Hi, my friend. We are back with the fifth episode of our Queen uh, Scotch Gambit series, and uh, this is a side line of uh, Jacobinon. Actually, not a real Scotch, but it's very close to Scotch. And we are talking about the line that takes with the bishop, and we take back with the knight, and takes with the knight. The other parts are easier that we will discuss later. And um, in earlier videos, we have seen queen h5, and then we discussed why queen h5 directly is not good. Instead, we have to play bishop e3, and recall that you should black should retreat the knight. Otherwise, if for example, try to develop other pieces, then white enjoys a healthy a structure without being down a pawn, and is up a tempo as well. And that's it. Uh, all pieces of white are almost developed. And next move brings the knight out and castles. So, black to say uh to compensate and being down development and says that okay i keep uh keep my pawn uh in the game i'm up a pawn and retreats the knight retreats the knight and then we play queen h5 anyways and uh, here there are two main moves queen e7 and queen f6 queen f6 is very similar to what we discussed earlier go back and watch the videos and we discuss queen e7 after queen e7, the, what is the plan? The plan is to develop pieces and the main theme is to prevent black from castling. Let's see how we do that. Let's, unlike all other videos, we develop the knight and all pieces of white are developed and white can castle next, but we don't hurry to castle. Black tries to castle, of course, develop pieces and attacks the queen. And here is, is one memory item that you should mm, remember, but it's not a real memory item. We will see it in depth and you will see why queen h4 is played. Queen h4 prevents black from castling because later queen g5 will be uh, beaten, shop g5 will be played and it stops black from castling uh, further. But before go down to main line, which is a d6 by black, let me tell you why such a fancy move cannot be played. Of course, you cannot capture this mm, mm, queen because will be captured and you're just... Uh, sorry, uh, let me show you. It will be captured and then you're just down a pawn and with a slight advantage in development, which is not useful when queens are not on the board. So instead you play bishop g5 anyways. This is the main theme of this um, video. Just play bishop g5 nevertheless. And then if uh, kicks your bishop away, take the knight, takes, uh, give a check. Of course, queen cannot stop the check because then loses the queen on a spot with win uh, with the bishop or with the queen whatever. So uh, to save the queen and uh, kick the your queen can play uh, g6, but then you keep your queen on h6 because at some point you want to go to a g7 or grab the g5 pawn. If the queen of black is under attack, should defend the c7 spot as well. So the best move is to play queen d6. Of course, queen uh, d8 was possible, but then your queen was going to uh, uh, g7 and it was end of a day. So, at this position, you simply castle and this is a dream position for white and black is uh, losing on a spot, basically. Because uh, here, for example, you had a discovery check at f6, it should be defended, defense with the rook, but then you defend your f pawn and you make it uh, ready to... Uh, launch the attack with your knight if there is to kick your knight doesn't matter grab it and then you're up a pawn and as well as uh black's kings is this is exposed and it's very bad structure for black so black doesn't make such a fancy move and uh, let me show you another fancy move before i before i go forward and to d6 for example another black also cannot castle because then again we enter uh, here you cannot capture this because this is with check here we enter very similar uh, situation but um, with a different flavor this is a mating attack and black cannot do anything similarly if black uh, says that okay i push the pawn first to prevent bishop g5 we will play bishop g5 nevertheless and then the best move for black is to play rook f8 because after rook f8 we have these trades and white is um, better positionally but it's not of anything but if it uh, doesn't play rook f8 for example i don't know if it castles we have very similar situation as before and um, white is winning 
So any move is bad. Any move is bad, and the only good move is um, d6. Um, why d6? Because all the time we have seen that white's knight is jumping into um, d5, and you should counter black should counter this knight on d5, and the only piece can counter it is the bishop of black and should release that bishop. And uh, we played bishop g5 anyways, and again with same reasons, um, black cannot go for fancy moves. The only possible move or cannot castle. I don't show it anymore. No, the only possible move for black is to play bishop e6 and we go in with the knight anyways. Here white should be careful. This is the only part that white should be careful because after um, bishop of black should capture this knight, there is no other option for black. After black captures, then you don't capture with the bishop. You don't capture with the bishop, you capture with the pawn. Because if you capture with the bishop, give um, black a lot of chance um, of counterplay. I don't go into the detail of the line. But black has a very, very um, much of counterplay and is actually winning. Here is black is the one who is winning. If you want to play aggressive, black certainly wins. So you capture with the pawn. And then there are several moves for the knight of black to no, knight of black is under attack should move I, for the same reason you cannot move this one because it simply grabs the knight so knight of black should move and uh, there are many places to go this knight can go many places and I want to discuss what happens at d4 the best move is actually knight b8 okay but I want to say why d4 is bad, but, um, and you will uh, understand the idea of why uh, everywhere is bad, except b8. So after uh, d4, we first defend our c2 spot because we want uh, not just defending the c2 spot, we want to attack this h7, and you will see uh, why. Before I go forward, notice that this knight on uh, d4 is almost trapped. Next time, oh, sorry. Next time, when uh, once uh, uh, just to make a move, next time once we push this pawn, this uh, knight is trapped and will be lost. Okay, uh, there is no escape room, and the only way to defend this trap uh, trap knight is to play uh, a six to be able to retreat the knight. For example, here we cannot play such move like a four because knight can find a home for itself. So. And I will say you why a6 is bad. Maybe I will tell you why a6 is bad from uh, right now. If a6 was played, you don't play it. a4 instead simply castle. Simply castle. This is the next uh, memory item that you should have. Uh, okay, there are two, three memory items. Uh, but this castling is not obvious. But it's not so difficult to see. The idea is to push the f pawn and open up the center. As we have seen with queen f6. Again, such a line like uh, pushing the bishop is not good because uh, you simply attack this knight. If knight goes back, it doesn't matter. You stop and uh, the attack actually was to um, was for the reason. The reason of attack was to go to f5 uh, with the bishop to prevent black from castling. This is what we say in the main theme of this uh, video. So... Uh, black should do something should open up the game at least to be able to play and this doesn't help much because then we open up the center and after just showing the line for example this line willing the queen or if black doesn't capture this uh, bishop tries to bring the, the uh, king out we can give this check and then enjoy the game the king of black is exposed and uh, we have a very we have a queen and we can attack the center so also you can even in this position you can even grab the knight and yes this is not the best move but the sale is winning for white because the um, opponent structure of white is much better so pawn is in six is not good i just want to show you why black cannot make counterplays for example such a move is not useful because uh, you just simply attack the knight and once the knight goes, uh, sorry, uh, not a6, directly h6, uh, you just attack the knight uh, at c3 uh, by playing c3, and then let's say black um, plays, uh, make counter plays, for example, attacking the bishop. Then uh, you first grab that knight. This is important. You That knight plays a central role, especially because your bishop is attacked, and at some point when black uh, castles your bishop is a target 
So on black has to take it with a pawn, cannot take it with a queen because then it's end of a day. We win a complete piece here. The knight is gone. And therefore black has to capture with a pawn, but then we simply cancel. And black has to play pawn f5. Why? For example, why black cannot capture? Because this is uh, a very easy win for white. Takes the knight and next move Terry tends to play rook e1. So, um, and the d1 is gone, so black tries to make some noise, but it doesn't help after castles. We play e1 anyway, and then we grab the a pawn, and this is very bad structure for black, and white is the only one who is attacking. So, yes, uh, uh, capturing bishop is not good, so defense the pawn. But then you just grab the queen, move the bishop away, and the knight is trapped. Cannot go anywhere. So this is the point that you should take with that d pawn. You know, you do. You, do you remember a few moves earlier that I said that you should take with the d pawn? This is the point. And there is one other last option that you may say that okay, here we castle and there is no knight to attack our knight, right? But this is a simple puzzle rush puzzle. And here, black should give up a queen, because if you capture, then it's a mate. Yes, that's wrap pop um, wraps up today's um, discussion. Next time we will go with knight b8 and see what happens there. Black has the ruining chances, but uh, it's uh, still a complicated game. See you next time. Bye.